guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to do a review of the new real flawless weightless perfecting foundation by laura messier this is the packaging i'm going to get straight into it and then i will tell you a little bit about the foundation as we go so if you watched my recent vlog you'll know i went to an event with laura messier for lunch to promote this new foundation they actually said about going and getting your foundation bottle engraved so we all thought we was getting an engraving but it's just been penned on with a metallic indelible ink random so this is the foundation it looks really lovely it's a glass bottle so it's recyclable it has this little gold rim around it which is really nice because it looks really luxe so the shade they color matched me to is my winter skin which is 2n1 cashew so this will be my early summer shade spring shade so not only did they give us the foundation they gave us a really nice little bag which again they've kind of penned on our initials and inside it i got the pure canvas primer which is the hydrating one so I'm going to put that on today. They recommended it with this foundation. So I'm going to give it a good shake. My skin looks a little bit red because I've just washed it and put my um, SPF on. So I'm only going to use a little bit of this. They also do a mattifying one. They do a few different versions of this primer. I'm going to do the hydrating one because my skin's a little bit drier because I'm currently hitting the tret again. Feel like i'm always saying that but i am i'm hitting the trick again so um i've got some dry patches but ordinarily my skin is oily combination so i'm going to put this through the t-zone my dryness mostly comes out here when i'm using tretinoin so i'm using the skin of me again um i love it it's so good i'll have to put up a little before and after i'll put it on screen for you now of my skin in 2021 when i was first starting the skin of me um, I did dabble with some retinol in between ahead of my wedding, but I'm back on the trip and these are the results of my skin. A mix of using the tretinol in and then I was using the retinols and I'm back on the trip again. So I'll put my referral link on. It's not an influencer one. If you sign up, you get your own referral link as well. It's for friends and family um, and I'll put it on and it gets you your first month free. I think you just pay like £3.50 for your delivery. So I'll put that on if you want to try it. So they've also created a brush specific to this foundation. It gives you this little point so that you can get directly into the small crevices of the face, like around the eyes. Really, really soft, such lovely quality. So I will link it in the description bar. It's on an 18 degree angle. As I said, it has been made specifically for this foundation. I don't know if you can read it there. The foundation itself is quite unique. It's not like a formula I've ever tried before. When it goes on, it's almost like an oil. It's really lightweight. It's a serum based foundation. It has 85% skincare ingredients and it's quite a drippy foundation so you know it's very lightweight as I say it's more like a serum that makes it such a nice foundation for summer as you can see when it's blended out it really gives this kind of like nice dewy finish to the skin but not shiny in any way it just feels very hydrating it's great for keeping oils at bay but also if you have slightly drier skin it's a nice foundation for you guys so I'm going to dab this on I haven't even brought a mirror down with me this should be fun I have to go and get one. I also take a little bit on my top eyelid and then I'll go in with a brush. I prefer to distribute it rather than losing most of it in the bristles. The reason I say it's quite unique is it feels like totally different to other foundations. When you blend it in, it is like when you blend oil onto the skin, it has that slip to it that feels so unique, unlike any other foundation. I'm not gonna use my Miss Piggy mirror because she always seems to steal the limelight because she's got eyes, the camera focuses on her. So I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so I'm gonna use this foundation brush. And this is a medium coverage, but I do feel like it's more like a sheer medium. You can get it on like a skin tint basically. Um, whereas I think like a true medium foundation doesn't go on like a skin tint, it goes on like a foundation. Whereas this really is lightweight. Um, you can see on my nose that my skin's really dry at the minute, so you're gonna have to bear with me with that. Wherever you've got dry patches, I always think it's easier to tap it in so that you're not dragging up the dry skin and making it look worse. So I think there's around 32 shades in this foundation. 30 or 32 roughly it goes really deep and really fair um, as I said I'm using 2n1 which I think is the light neutral shade the brush is so super soft it's really lovely 
So as you can see with that angle you can get right into the corner of your eyes with this brush. So I don't know if you can see it's it's quite a good match. I think because it's so lightweight you can kind of get away with it. Once you start to build it up like with any foundation the more layers you get the more opaque the foundation is the less like your natural skin tone it becomes and then it takes on more of the foundation colour as opposed to blending in with your skin. So that's one light layer. You can see how light it is. So it is like a skin tint. It just takes down a little bit of the redness and just evens out. So I would say it's like a sheer medium. It's definitely buildable, which we will do. I'm sat right in front of the um, window, so I do apologize that the lighting will keep changing. I'm going to apply a second layer to the skin. So you guys can see how it builds nicely. This is when you start to see a little bit more of the yellow in the foundation coming through. I won't take it right up under my eyes because I will use a concealer under there. Really feels like skincare. I'm also going to take a little bit of that down my neck, a little bit over my ears. Just propped a little mirror up so I can see and I've took my hair back a little bit so it doesn't get in your way or annoy you and get in my way rather. Pop a little bit more on my forehead. I do prefer foundation over my top lid rather than concealer because concealer tends to pack a little bit more of a punch in the pigment and I don't want too much on my eyelids. Otherwise that's when you can get the creasing because your skin will warm up the product. Um, so I prefer foundation. I'm going to do the other side with my hands so you guys can see because I know lots of you do apply your foundation with your fingers, I love to. So that is one side done with the brush. I'm going to do this side with my fingers. So because it does have skincare properties to this, it does say it will improve. It honestly feels like a serum. It's so bizarre for this to be a foundation. It won't feel the same blending on the back of your hands as it does when it's on your face. It's so, so bizarre to feel like an actual serum. So yeah, because it does have those skincare elements to the foundation. It does say it will improve skin texture within six weeks. It's also humidity, sweat resistant, as she says sweat proof and waterproof. I say resistant because I think that's pretty much more of a safer option to say rather than to guarantee it's going to be waterproof but it does say waterproof but I would always take everything like that with a pinch of salt because we are using such a light coverage I want to see that it stays there all day. So that's one layer with my fingers. And it just looks really similar to the first side. So that is both sides of my face done. One side with my fingers, one side with a brush. I actually really like the side with the brush. I think it's nicer. I just think it's come out nicer. As I said, it is buildable. So you could go further than this and continue to build it up. I'm going to do the rest of my face. I will pop in periodically. I have a feeling like around here where my skin is particularly dry, it will... It's a little rubbing outside keeps coming back. I think they've got a little nest behind the garage, which is really sweet. I have a feeling this part of my face might get a little bit dry. It does tend to get a little bit peely throughout the day. Again, that's due to the tret. So I'm not going to hold that against the foundation. So you will have to bear with me. This is really good, I think, to test because I know lots of you have uh, problematic skin. Sometimes it's skin texture. It will be dryness, oiliness, and I'm kind of having a little bit of everything. So um, I will test it and I will check back with you periodically. Um, I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and I will put it on fast forward.
love the finish of the foundation. It's perfect for the summer because it has that serum vibe to it. 85% of the ingredients is skincare based, so it's really nice and lightweight, great for the summer months. Also lovely for winter, but because we have got the summer coming up and we wanna wear light stuff on our faces, this for me is perfect. So I'm gonna go back my day and I will check in with you shortly. Just showing you how my skin looks on my mobile. Again, by natural daylight. Really lovely, natural, beautiful. So we're a couple of hours in and I'm not looking too shiny. I've got this really nice glow to my skin. Usually by now, I'm starting to look a little bit on the oily side. Considering I only set it with a finishing powder as opposed to something like the translucent powder by Laura Mercier, which is a bit more heavy duty, um, I'm still looking pretty good. So yeah, so far, really, really like the foundation. Hey, so it's been about four hours or four and a half hours now. Um, in the bathroom mirror, I'm looking a smidge shiny just here and here. But overall, it's so far really, really good. Um, yeah, not much to say because it's doing really, really well. So hopefully it continues. I'm sure I'm going to get a little bit more oily because that's the nature of the beast uh, when you are combination oily. But overall, so far, still looking good considering I'm pretty dry in certain areas, but it's it's doing well. Even on my dry patches, it's still not clinging too much, doesn't emphasize them. Um, yeah, it's still looking really, really good. Hey guys, so I've had this on about seven hours now. I'm probably not gonna feel much longer than this, so this is the last check-in. I'm really, really impressed with the foundation. For a nice lightweight foundation, I still look really even. Um, it's lasted really well. We didn't use any setting sprays. We didn't use any heavy duty setting powders. It was just a finishing powder and it worked really, really well. The staying powder has been great. It feels nice on the skin. I don't feel like I'm wearing foundation. One of my favorite foundations is the number seven, which is also a serum foundation. And that is also lightweight, but sometimes I feel like I am still wearing something if I layer it twice. So I tend to only use one layer, but this has two layers and I don't feel like I'm wearing anything on my skin. The dry patches around here still look really good. I've had no peeling. So I'm thinking the hydrating elements to it within the skincare is great around the areas that are dry. So overall, I would recommend this foundation whether you are oily, if you've got drier skin. I think overall it's a really great one if you were like a sheer coverage up to a really nice medium coverage. You could definitely build it to a nice solid medium. I think anything else you would start to really see those vellus hairs sitting on the skin. But overall, gets a thumbs up from me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Don't forget I will list and link everything I've used in the description bar. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel. You can follow me outside of YouTube over on Instagram at Show Me Makeup and I will see you in a few days with another video. Bye guys. Bye.